Peace and blessings to all the citizens of the world, so-called known as Earth. It's your main man, Zulu King Quick, Universal Zulu Nation, MZK, South Bronx, ATL, Funk Lewis Crew, you know, and I'm sitting here about to do a little interview, let you know about what I do and who I am and how I think. You know what I mean? Big ups to my man, that guy, B. Smith. Funk Lords is a crew that I established in, in 2002. This is actually our 10 year anniversary, 2012 of May, during the third week of May is Hip Hop Appreciation Week. That is an organization that became an organization that started as a small group of friends doing what we love best, which was street culture. We didn't really have a title on it, we just did what we did, hung out, and we maximized on our talent, our friendship, our energy, and our opportunities. And um, it's kind of still like that today, just a lot more professional, a lot more unified, a lot tighter, and we have goals that we set now for ourselves individually and collectively. So we just maximize on our talents, which is street culture, not limited to hip hop, you know? Um, not limited to hip hop music, but hip hop culture. B-boy, BMX, skateboarding, um, popping, strutting, locking, graphic design, aerosol art, uh, fashion design, MCs, poetry, all of, all of these different things that just come from within, you know what I mean? So that's what Funk Lords is, we're just a collective of incredible, extraordinary individuals, you know? Bam. Oh God, I don't even know. Ness, what do I do? Like, I mean, come on, man. Like, every other day, I feel like I have a new goal for myself, a new role for myself, and definitely with my crew. I have a responsibility with my crew as a sergeant of arms, you know, the guy that makes things happen. You know, when, when, when our crew goes out, the one that makes sure that our crew stays in line as far as conduct, the one that makes sure our crew, you know, stays in communication with each other, the one that makes sure that our crew, um, people know, you know, their respect levels also when we go out in public. There, there's certain amounts of respect that needs to be had and I'm just really the, the conductor of, of conduct and collectiveness, you know what I mean? I'm just that web guy, make sure everybody comes together, you know, um, being one of being one of the council members just leave me with the opportunity thanks to Ness and Taekwon and Poe and all them, you know, and Van Bottom and so, you know, being a council member gives me the opportunity to to train, look, help scout, make decisions on what the crew should do together and um, also bring in opportunities to the crew to make sure that we advance not just in the b-boy scene but just also in, in, in our community. You know, so my mission for Zulu Kings right now is just to be the best Zulu Nation member I, I, I can be and to be the best individual I can be as a person and apply that and teach it to my, my, my crew members, you know? Mambo Rock is your, is your Bronx boy b-boying with a little bit more touch of Sasson, you know what I mean? So it's really just like the whole movement I started, you know, after, after watching a lot of what Fable does and uh, what Wiggles does and what Ness does, I'm realizing that all of this stuff, all, all of it comes from our heritage, which is, you know, Latino heritage, Latino culture, and Latino culture has been such a big influence. And I like to say Afro-Latino culture because it goes back because we're all the same, but that has been such a big influence on hip hop and in b-boying especially and b-girling. And sometimes it just doesn't get the shine that it deserves. A lot of times right now, cats is doing magnificent moves and they forget about the movement. So they so busy worrying about their moves that you don't see who they are, you know? And with us, these guys that, that I look up to now, you know, I finally found someone that I look up to and I realize it's the brothers that have been over me the whole time. Wiggles or Floor Phantom or, 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 or Fable or Alien Ness, you know, and on, even myself, you know, Taekwon, Jules, when you see these people dancing, Mr. Cool, all of these people have this this Latin flavor or you know this Afro, this Afro Cubano flavor and 
is this the heritage coming out in the national movement. Even if they're doing martial arts styles or even if they're doing South Bronx like rocking gang styles, you know what I'm saying? Like their Latino heritage comes out so strong. So all I'm doing is showing people the roots outside of hip hop, you know? I'm taking them, I'm giving them a little bit of, I'm giving them a little bit of salsa. Then I'm going, coming over here, giving them a little bit of mambo. They learn the, they learn the difference between the music. They learn the difference between the dances, the heritage. You know, and when they learn how to salsa and have fun, then not only do they understand, oh, I could dance with my lady, you know, or three of my boys, we could get out and we could rock a salsa routine, you know, and then turn around and rock that same routine, which is harder, you know, with a harder body movement, turn that into my rock dance, turn that into my top rock, you know, and, and it works better. There's a lot of great music being played right now. People are on these breaks, hardcore, our DJs are going in, you know, Horsepower crew, you know, people out here in South Carolina, people in Atlanta, they're all doing the thing, Miami and Jacksonville. These DJs are going bananas right now. And, uh, you know, Timber all out in Spain is throwing down ill breaks, and people don't know how, to, they enjoy the breaks, but they don't know how to dance to them. So, showing people mambo movements, showing people salsa movements, you know, African dance movements within the salsa movements, all these different movements shows them how to maximize on the musicality and, and also enjoy it and have fun. I hate the fact that uh, some dancers are down here and the music is up here. You know what I mean? Our dance was created at the highest level of the band's playing, which was the break. So every time we dance, we should be on that highest level of energy. You know what I mean? Well, that's what Mambo Rock's about. So I'm taking it worldwide and I'm just giving it back to the people that deserve to hear about it, see it, and learn our heritage. That's it. Your creativity, your artistic side, your anger, your frustration, your happiness, you're not letting it go. All you're doing is chasing your feet and worrying about the moves. For us, it's not about the moves, it's about the movement.